Hey YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Andy. I got another shoe review for y'all. I got the Air Jordan 4 Retros in the CDP colorway. By far, this is my favorite Air Jordan 4 colorway. I'm running up a little ahead from the Air Jordan 4 Mists. Those are actually my second favorite colorway. I like the gray, the blue, and the yellow a lot. I got this shoe off of Soul Collector Marketplace. I got it for $150, pretty good deal. Um, considering that these shoes go for about 280 to 300 on eBay. It was from Soul Collector, so it's 100% authentic. The reason that some people say this shoe is fake is because it's not in a men's size, it's actually in a youth size. Because I heard that the Air Jordan 4s run a little large, so I decided, hey, if I'm going to get size down a little bit, I might as well get a discount since youth sizes are cheaper, as we all know. So let's get into the shoe. So in this video, I'm going to do like a quick shoe review just on the key looks of the Air Jordan 4s. And I'll also do a, compar a short comparison with the original ones that came out in 1989. And I'll also show like how you can tell between a real pair of Air Jordan 4s and a pair of fakes. Since uh, some people are saying this one's fake, and I'll go through that to dispel those rumors. Alright, so first we got a mesh, a netting on the tongue, and on the side. Very similar to the Air Jordan 5 Retros. They have these as well. Something unique and characteristic of the Air Jordan 4s are the plastic lacels. Uh, this one only has two compared to the usual three, so I'll go over that when I do like the fake or not. Um, inside, we can see, I don't know if you can see this, but we have the countdown logo. Let me see if I can adjust the camera so you can see it. Right here. If you can see, there we go, there we go. I think the light got it. So that's the countdown logo right there inside. A little hard to see. But they have that. Um, something else about this shoe, there's the Air Jordan. It says a little tag right there. It's inverted on the camera, but it says Air Jordan correctly. So this should be upside down. Like this. And so if you flip it, it should say Air Jordan. On the back, we got a jump man. He kind of sticks out. Literally, he's not uh, even with the surface of the shoe, which is normal. That's just the way this one is. And we have a pull tab here. Got an air bubble. And then we got stars. Like the majority of the famous Nikes, like Air Force Ones and Jordans. Um, something else about this shoe. Oh, so let's do a little comparison with the OGs. So we have a pair that came out in 1989. So the Air Jordan 4s were created by Tinker Hatfield. So the one created came out in 1989 has Nike Air on the back rather than the Jumpman. The sole of the shoe is pretty predominantly the same, same colorway, red, white, black, and gray. Although I have I've never owned, but I have seen the OG ones, and I'd have to say the quality and stitching is a little bit better. Uh, something else about the shoe, um, the OG ones also had the countdown numbers on the inside, same as the shoe. And the high tongue, although some people say it's a it was a little thicker. But I can't really say because I haven't had I haven't seen that on first hand, so now I'm gonna go into a little bit how you can tell whether they're fake or not. So Air Jordan 4s, as I said before, they have the tag, but it should not be the right way up. It should actually be upside down. So that way if you flip over the tongue, it says Air Jordan in the proper way. Um, there should be stars, as I said, and then the jump man. He shouldn't be on here. It should be sticking out a little bit. On the back, as you can see, there's actually a little bump. It's called the heel bump. All Air Jordan 4s have this, and if it's flat, like I've seen some fake ones, then it's not real. Alright, um, there's a lot of different ways to lace these, actually. Some people just tuck them in, some people tie them up front. I saw someone do this with a pair of cements that I recently saw, and I wanted to learn, find out how to do this, but I couldn't find any tutorials or anyone else who did it on YouTube, so I kind of experimented, and I found out that the best way to do it, rather than just making the whole shoe loose, is to lace them up one more time here, but I just tuck them behind, <laughs> just like that, 
And then you get your laces that stick out. I really like this look. It looks comfortable, and it actually is, so that's good. So there's like the jump man, and it says flight on the tongue, which is the same as the OG ones. These retroed in 2008, so since I got them in dead stock condition, that was quite a good pickup for me. Um, something else about this shoe, let's see. Um, so, oh, here we go. Um, people are saying that this shoe is fake because there's only two holes. But the thing is that this is actually used as I said before, so it's a little different, a little condensed, you could say. Alright, that's what I got. So, if you like what you see, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and be on the lookout for more fitted days and shoe reviews coming up. Peace.